Happy Sunday morning, all. What time is it? Oh, yes, it's just past 11, isn't it? Yeah. I think it is. Well done, South Africa. Well done, South Africa. You are a monster. 12-11. Not many tries in the game. One for New Zealand. Well, it was a bit of a damp night. It was drizzling. The ball was like a bar of soap. So, but Jesus Christ. It was like a battlefield. Amazing. Wine. There'll be wine and sing, singing. And drinking. And thinking. And whinging. At the English referee. Go save the Queen, Master. She did. <laughs> this is the other half grip of Bordeaux Claret. Cabernet Sauvignon. Generally, French Bordeaux Claret from the Gironde. Gironde. A peninsula west of Bordeaux. You don't know what I am talking about. Next to the uh, Medoc and, and Medoc and the river and this other river joins up and then suddenly it turns into the Gironde Gironde estuary. Where the French nudists hang out, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so the uh, the most popular grape that's blended with Merlot for Bordeaux Claret. But uh, there's a couple of other grapes that I'm, I'm not that much of a wine buff. In the buff. On the Gironde. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm watching on this device and... Uh, TVX and I don't worry I've checked the rules I don't need a TV license the only thing I need a TV license is to watch BBC I play it on this fucking device this Android fuck the BBC they can go and disappear up their own asses BBC home counties the British Brainwashing Corporation. I got in trouble with them in 2019. I made this story spoof when I posted it on their, um, one of their news stories about Epstein and uh, hints of Prince Andrew. And I mean, and it, <laughs> I don't know, uh, it's, it, you know, it's just, an, well, it's mainly in a sort of uh, Jimmy Savile type of way. Uh, put in one comment, fairly long. And then I added the second paragraph. And I did that in early August. And I, whee, it was a hot August, and uh, <laughs> I was enjoying myself, as you do, and uh, suffering in the middle of my gluten attacks here. And it affects the brain. And then, <laughs> uh, two months later, I had a knock on the door, two bloody copper ladies. And they said, are you so-and-so with the builder? Yeah. <laughs> Did you post this? What? <laughs> when? Early August? I can't remember. <laughs> and then six hours later, it turned up again. We were arresting you. Fucking handcuffs and everything. Back of van. 
spent all day in a bloody police cell. And anyway, this palaver went on. I got my MP involved. I explained in the interview, oh, that's what you're on about. I didn't know. I still didn't know what the fuck was it was all about. And then in the interview, he read out what I'd written. Oh, that they win. That's a load of fiction. I, I, I made up to make fun of the BBC, Jimmy Savile, and you know, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mention uh, Prince Andrew. <laughs> and then, uh, and the next thing happened, I turned up in Leslie Madison's court, bloody hell, in the, in the, you know, the last booking day, I think it was, before Christmas, I'm t tell you what, they were fucking taking the piss out of me. And, I was there, and the COVID had just started, and there was a plastic screen around, and I was in, and I got one of their um, uh, duty solicitors to represent me. I was like, I'm not spending any cash on this fucking load of nonsense. Anyway, well, <coughs> I got my EMP involved, Neil Griffith, and... Uh, I don't think, no, she didn't get involved directly. She's not allowed to. But I think one of her researchers phoned up the DPP in London because the Department of Public Prosecution in London. So who's there for the BBC? And uh, as I was there, and I was there, and also on a big screen in front, popped up this lady from the Department of Public Prosecution in London. And uh, what it was, it was suspended until the first week in January. And so I had that over my head at Christmas and to cup it. Oh, God. Anyway, and then I turned up. Uh, oh, oh, that's it. I got a phone call. You don't have to turn up <laughs> for a desk sergeant in Armford Police Station where I spent a jolly afternoon in the police cell. You phone me up. You don't have to turn up tomorrow. Your case has been dismissed. Fucking <laughs> hell! I couldn't believe it. I know. Oh, I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's bloody Boris Johnson coming after me. Yeah? <laughs> Here we go on panelizing. What the fuck? <laughs> you know. I mean, that this bloody thing. Oh, that's what I said at the end. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, good, on, good children there playing next to the river. And there's this red one. Let's go down by the river like a load of BBC perverts. I think that's the one that upset the BBC more. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta go. I'm thinking, why are you? Anyway, my health is getting better. Um, now I'm avoiding wheat and yeah, it's causing an autoimmune reaction in the gut that makes it attack the nosy body brain. I am getting better, and I need to get in contact with my shah because it's a inherited type of thing. Because the father.